So in this question, we're told that at t seconds, where we have a positive t, a particle p moves so that its acceleration, which is denoted by the vector a and measured in meters per second per second, is given by the following equation. So we have that the acceleration vector is going to be 5t with the i component and negative 15t to the power of a half in the j component. We're given some further information. We're told that when the time is equal to zero, the velocity of the particle is 20i meters per second. And what we're being asked to do is we're being asked to find the speed of the particle p when the time is equal to four. So we first know we're dealing with vectors until the final point where we're asked to find the speed. And we know that we'll work with vectors right through the question and then at the end we can use the velocity vector and find the magnitude to find the speed. But we'll come on to that later. And for now, we're going to have a think about how we can go from our equation with acceleration into an equation in terms of v. So we know that if we have displacement, we can follow this arrow here and differentiate once to find the velocity and then differentiate for a second time to find the acceleration. So therefore, we also know that if we have the acceleration, we can find the antiderivative. And how do we do this? We do this by integrating. So therefore, to go from acceleration to velocity, we can integrate. So therefore, writing this down, we can integrate our equation for acceleration in terms of t to find an expression for the velocity. So therefore, we have, just rewriting it, we have our equation a is equal to, so we recall that a is actually a vector, and it is going to be equal to 5t, that's the i component, and then the j component is minus 15, t to the power of a half. So we can first integrate both these terms separately. So we have that the integral of 5t with respect to t is going to be equal to, so we add 1 to the power and divide by the new power, so that is going to be equal to 5t squared over 2. And then we also have that the integral of 15t to the power of a half with respect to t is going to be equal to, so we add 1 to the power, so that will be 15t to the power of 3 over 2, and then we divide by 3 over 2, and this comes out as 10t to the power of 3 over 2. So therefore, we have that the integral of 5t minus 15t to the power of a half integrated with respect to t is going to be equal to 5t squared over 2, and that's still our i component, and then we subtract our j component, which is going to be 10 t to the power of 3 over 2, and that's in the j component. And we now must add c, our constant of integration. So once we've added c, we know that this is our expression for velocity. But we're not there yet, so we now need to work out what c is. So we're told that when t is equal to 0, the velocity is equal to 20i. So therefore, we can substitute these values in, and we have that 5 lots of 0 squared over 2 in the i direction, minus 10 lots of 0 to the power of 3 over 2 in the j direction, plus c is going to be equal to, well, 20i. So therefore, computing this, we have that the zeros make these disappear, so we'll then be left with c is equal to 20i. So therefore, we can now take this value of c and rewrite this expression here. So we'll have that the velocity is going to be equal to 5t squared over 2, and then we subtract 10t to the power of 3 over 2, and we now add on c, which is 20 i. And remember, these are in terms of i and j also. So then now we're asked to find the speed of p when t is 4. So when t equals 4, we need to find the velocity first. So therefore, we can do this by substituting in 
t equals 4 into this equation. So we'll therefore have that the velocity is going to be 5 lots of 4 squared. And we divide that by 2. And that still remains our i component. And we'll then take away 10 lots of 4 to the power of 3 over 2. And we then add on 20 in the i direction. And plugging all this into our calculator, this leaves us with 40 i minus 80 j and then we have 20 i. So therefore we can tidy this up and we can combine our i components. So we'll have 40 add 20 which gives us 60 i and then we have our negative 80 j. So that is our expression for velocity. So that's our velocity expression for t equals 4. We can now find the speed by working out the magnitude. And we do this because speed is the scalar equivalent of velocity. So therefore we have that the speed is going to equal the magnitude of the vector v which is going to be 60 squared and then we add on negative 80 squared and we square root this and put this into our calculator this comes out as 100 meters per second and we therefore find the speed and answer the question. So in this question there were six marks available and we achieve our first mark for knowing to integrate acceleration with respect to time. So when we write our integral here, this is where we get our first mark. We then get our second mark for correctly integrating and adding c. So this is when we had our expression for velocity with c, so that was here. So this is when we had the correct expression for velocity, which included a constant c. We then receive our next mark for working out this value of c, and that was that it was 20 in the i direction. We then receive our fourth mark for saying that when t is equal to 4, the velocity vector is equal to 60i minus 80j. So that was just about here we received that mark. And then we received our fifth mark for attempting to find the magnitude. So that's when we did our square root here. And then we receive our sixth and final mark for having the correct final answer of 100 meters per second.